I began twirling when I was seven years old. I became the uh, head majorette at Burn Union High School in Sugar Grove, Ohio. Then when I decided to come to Ohio State, I really missed performing. And at that time, I knew Dwight Hudson from when we actually performed at band competitions in high school. And he told me, he said, Shelly, you should try out. And I was gonna try out for D-Row. And I was in the first D-Row here at Ohio State. In 1980, um, I was named assistant drum major. And the following year, I tried out for drum major. They came back and told us there was a tie. Uh, so Bruce Hart and I had a runoff. And at the end of that time, I'll never forget Dr. Paul Droste, who was the director of the marching band at that time. He took his megaphone and said, the drum major for 1981 will be Shelley Graff. And see, it almost makes me cry to this day. It's such a thrill. There are 62 drum majors in the history of the marching band, and two are females. Catherine Mitchell was the other female in 2003. When I became drum major, they had ordered my uniform to not have tails on the back. I talked to Dr. Droste and I asked him, I said, I didn't do this to be, I didn't make drum major and then want to change things. I wanted it to be the same. I want to have the same uniform, the same hat. I don't want to have anything different than it would be um, if there was a, a man in this position. Being a minority in the band, I'm kind of um, inspired by people who have brought a certain level of individuality to this very traditional position. So for example, Shelly Graff, she was the first female drum major here at Ohio State in 1981. Um, she was the first kind of person who I saw her and I said, okay, well, she did it. You know, why can't I do it? I started my journey towards becoming the drum major here when I was 10 years old. Uh, my mom told me that I had to start twirling because she was a majorette when she was growing up. Um, and she told me and my sisters that we had to do one year of baton twirling. So I joined a baton and drum corps back in my hometown in Elyria, and I never put my baton down. So I was actually the first woman of color to be the drum major at my high school at Elyria High. And from then, I kind of knew that I wanted to go to Ohio State. And so it just was kind of logical for me to try out for D-Row here at Ohio State. And I did that, I was on D-Row for two years, and then this spring I tried out for drum major and I won a position. The first time I performed with the band behind me, I was a nervous wreck. I felt like I was twirling, I had never twirled before, I didn't know how to catch a baton, I didn't know everything that all my training went right out the window. But thankfully the first time I performed, I wasn't in front of a crowd, it was during a rehearsal. The first time I performed in Ohio Stadium, it felt like a dream. Like it felt like everything I'd been working towards. I felt so prepared and like the crowd really responded um, positively to the way that I was performing and the way that I represented the drum major position. So it was, it was honestly a feeling that I will never forget. I think that I've paved the way for future drum majors in a way that I don't look like the traditional drum major. You know, when you think of the drum major of The Ohio State University, you think of maybe a tall white male. It's important for young people to be able to see me and say, well, I can do that just the way I did with Shelly. Um, you don't necessarily have to look like everyone else. You can have your own style. You can bring your own individuality to the position and still have a leadership position.